Hello there. Drag and drop files. In this video, we look at how to add documents to your model course. First, we need edit mode enabled, top right. There are two ways to add a document, such as presentations or word processed files to your model course. One way is by simply dragging them and dropping them straight onto your course page. We resize our window. And we have our file here. We can drag it. And we say we want it under classification of programming language section. So here, we have it. It is uploaded here. The second way is by using models active to chooser and file picker. Over on the left, I have a quiz. Here, for instance, I would like the quiz in the high level language section. So, I press the cursor on the quiz, click onto it, hold it, and simply drag it to where I want it. The dotted box will appear, and then it will automatically be uploaded. So, here it is uploaded. If you make a mistake, Remember that you can move it either by drag and drop. For example, if I made a mistake and I wanted it under course, coursework one, I, I can drag and drop it under coursework one. So it has moved away from lev high level language section to now to a new section coursework one. Oh, if we have a very long course page, by clicking on the move icon, come here to settings, click on the move icon, and choose where we wanted it to go. So let's say we wanted it under classification of programming languages. So I can click here, and it will come straight to classification of programming language section. It has moved away from coursework one. It is possible to drag and drop several files at the same time. If you click and select all of them, you can drag them all into your course page together. So let's say I want it under classification of programming languages. Here they are all uploaded. Also, if you put your files into a folder, you can drag the whole folder in. Let's create a folder. and we call it quiz. We can put all our files in the folder. But first, it is important that you compress or zip the folder. So right click on it, choose option, compress to zip file. So our zipped folder is here. Then when we drop it in, you are prompted to unzip it. And this will then display the folder with, the, with your files inside. So you choose unzip files and create folder and upload. 
So the folder is here created. If you open the folder, you find the, the files inside. And you can decide to open the files. So you'll be able to access the contents of the file.